Hello Leo, welcome to your love reading. We're gonna be looking at what's going on in your connection. What do you need to know about this other person and where is it all headed next? As always, these readings are meant to be general, so they will not resonate with every Leo watching. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you. For Leo, spirit, angels, guides, what guidance, what messages do we have for Leo regarding love? For Leo, for Leo. Okay. What's going on currently in your connection or regarding love? Three of Swords, Ace of Pentacles, okay. Nine of Cups. Well, that's a turnaround if I've ever seen one. Okay. Um, who you might be dealing with? What it excuse me what do we need to know about their energies two of wands three of pentacles wow the lovers gemini energy and where is this all headed next or what can you expect next queen of wands ten of cups king of wands interesting bottom of the deck two of pentacles i heard which is it <laughs> which is it which is it? Well, Leo, I feel like there's something big happening in love in general. Just because the Ace of Pentacles is here. The Ten of Cups is here. So I feel like something good is coming. Something good is on the way. Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. These are great energies. This is being emotionally fulfilled. Um, I feel like it hasn't all been fun and happy though because i have the three of swords first card out three of swords pain heartbreak disappointment so something must have happened that was difficult um but i feel like something new is coming or an opportunity is presenting itself and i feel like it's going to be very emotionally fulfilling for you maybe it's a wish being granted um when it comes to love relationships and on your person's side, I feel like they have a choice to make, two of wands, some sort of path that they need to choose. Um, and I feel like it's regarding a partner because the lovers is here. So I don't know if this is like a soulmate energy. I don't know if you're dealing with um, a partner already or if this is someone new. Um, the three of pentacles is telling me that... Um, it's almost like deciding to build um, or deciding to work on something, deciding to um, commit almost is the energy I'm picking up. It's like the, the connection is clearly there and there might be um, a very special bond, but it's like someone needs to decide if this is what they want or something like that. We're, we'll clarify. I have my little clarifying deck here, so we'll dig deep in there. Um, and then what can you expect next? Well, we have the King and Queen of Wands. So fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius um, energy with a 10 of cups in the middle. I mean, hello. Wh I mean, uh, what other way to interpret that? But being happy with the person that you are kind of meant to be with when i see like pairs like this like the king and queen of wands king and queen of cups um to me it's like um a it's almost like the not the ideal partner because i feel like differences are great and can really unite us but it's almost like you're someone that you really connect with on a deeper level because you're so similar or you have similar goals you're on the same page, you know, kind of energy. Um, so I feel like whatever's happening here, it's like you both want this. Ten of Cups. Let's get some energy oracle out here. Let me get some insight into this connection between Leo and this other person. Spirit, what do we need to know? What do we need to know about this connection? Let me talk about the energies between Leo and this other person. What do we need to know? 
Wow, true love. The connection between you is genuine and true. So this is great, Leo. Something I feel is happening here that's special. What else? The energies between Leo and this other person. What do we need to know? Burdened heart. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. I feel like that's a three of swords. So I feel like this is, and there's um, lasting promise at the bottom of the deck. A card about commitment, longevity, future. This connection will stand the test of time. I think what's happening here is that love is not the problem. There's some sort of other burden that exists on someone's mind. And that's why I think I heard, which is it? Because it's like someone needs to choose, I feel, um, what they truly want or what they want to do. Because it's not just love, you know, it's, and, and of course, if connections could, could, could exist on uh, love alone, then we wouldn't have, I feel, love tarot. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But seriously, um, the relationships take work, effort. Um, relationships take communication and, you know, commitment and drive and focus and energy. Hold on. I don't know what's going on today. I can't hold on to my cards. Okay. So let's um, find out what the issues might be here. Because I feel like there is a burden that exists already. It's not love. But it's definitely a barrier here. Because I feel like true love is possible. So it's like, what's the problem? Get some insight for Leo, please. Guidance. For Leo. Well, tell me about this Three of Swords. Why is the Three of Swords here? What's this Three of Swords about? Why is the Three of Swords here for Leo? Queen of Pentacles. Can I get one more for the Three of Swords? Ten of Swords. Queen of Swords. Two Queens. So I definitely feel like there was some sort of ending that happened here. Some sort of um, difficult ending. Now, if it's not between you and this person, it could be outside of this connection. I don't want to jump into third party energy. There's another queen, the queen of cups. But... You know, I do find it a bit questionable that I have two queens here with the Ten of Swords. Let's see. What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Five of Cups. Can I get one more for the Ace of Pentacles? I get one more. The Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles? The Emperor. Aries energy. Judgment. Okay. Nine of Swords at the bottom of the deck. And the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Interesting. Why do I feel like you're not expecting this Ace of Pentacles? Can I get one more for the Three of Swords? The world. What? King of Pentacles. Hmm. It's like maybe you thought something was done, but it's really not. The Judgment card is here with the Emperor. And Judgment is about like an awakening, a resurrection, a revival. This is the strangest energy, like it's strange energy. Here's the Ace of Cups. Okay, let's keep going. And, uh, I want to see if your person's energy gives me some sort of insight into what could have happened here. 
because something definitely happened in a or will be happening tell me about this person that leo is has or will be dealing with what do we need to know about this person's energy we need to know about this person's Sensitive, responsive, and perceptive. Number 11. What you know? So what I'm getting here, you know, it's weird. I'm getting like they feel the same. Um, they're not ignorant of the bond that you have. Fun, outgoing, lively. Sensitive. Well, these are kind of interesting. So I'm getting this message of this person's energy being almost like reinvigorated. I mean, I don't know how to say it. It's almost like you, you turn the light on in them. They are responding to your energy in this way. Sensitive, fun. Hmm. Again, what's the problem? What's going on? What am I missing? Tell me about the two of wands. Let's break down this person's energy. Okay, there's the king of wands again. Tell me about the two of wands. And it's interesting too. I have the ten of swords in the world with the three of swords here. So again, this energy of like a new start with the ace of pentacles and judgment. Tell me about the two of wands. What's this two of wands about? Seven of pentacles, so there's doubts here. And then the nine of cups again. So your person hasn't made a decision, hasn't chosen a path because they have, they're have they having doubts about something. Nine of wands, death, Scorpio energy, and the 10 of pentacles. They've been affected by something. Maybe an ending that took place. Some of you, I really hope that you're not dealing with a married person. If you are, that would change a lot of this energy because I feel like I feel like from your person's side, I don't see them taking action, right? So how can you be together with a married partner or a committed someone that's already in another commitment, right? If they're not really showing that they're willing to take any sort of action. Can I get some insight into this two of wands? Eight of wands. Okay, so they're thinking about what action to take. Tell me about the three of pentacles or what to communicate. Tell me about the three of pentacles. King of swords. Queen of swords, king of swords. These are very open, analytical, great communicators, no BS. No oh, other three of pentacles. Ten of wands. And there's a the two of pentacles again. I think that this burden is wearing down someone. I don't know if this burden is another situation. I don't know if this burden is fear, baggage. I don't know what it is, but I feel like it's affecting the decisions that someone makes. And I feel like your person has to make this decision. This world energy, this Ten of Swords energy, this Ace of Pentacles, they don't happen by themselves. And I feel like, again, I don't think the, the problem is love. I think it's something else. Tell me about the lovers. Why is the lovers here? Why is the lovers here? Four of wands. Why is the lovers here? For Leo. Yeah, 10 of cups and the knight of wands. The partnership, the bond, the, the connection that you have is not the problem. 
There's the Queen of Wands. There's passion. There's interest. There's happiness, joy, stability, or the feelings of all of this, right? But this Ten of Wands is getting in the way. I feel like this Three of Swords, Ten of Swords could also be getting in the way as well. Because with the Ace of Pentacles, the first card out was the Five of Cups. It's almost like bittersweet, you know, like something that is bittersweet. There's parts that are sweet and parts that are bitter about it. So it's like when you get this Ace of Pentacles, it's not like butterflies and rainbows right off the bat, you know? And that's why it's kind of confusing. Anybody should be happy to have this Ace of Pentacles. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles up there. Now I'm curious, why is the Nine of Pentacles up there? Why is the Nine of Pentacles up there? Knight of Swords. So again, I feel like whatever message is being um, sent here or exchanged, Knight of Cups at the bottom of the deck, it makes someone very happy. I feel like Leo, you're gonna be happy to hear from this person you're going to be happy with the actual content of the message. But I feel like also there's a little bit of like an exchange here. It's like it's not going to be all happiness. Yeah, Knight of Cups, Six of Wands. This is beautiful. Justice after that, Libra Energy. You know, it's like you you get exactly what you want, what you deserve, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's go down here and see. Um, this is the um, what you can expect next. And since I have the Ten of Cups here, I'm thinking that this might be really nice. You know, tell me about the Ten of Cups. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. What do we need to know about this Ten of Cups? Queen of Cups. Two of Pentacles, again, this Two of Pentacles keeps wanting to come out. What else about this Ten of Cups? What else do we have to know? There's like something to do with people here. Yeah, Queen of Wands. Again, two different queens. There's the lovers at the bottom of the deck, Gemini energy. I really feel like it's like there's something to do with more than two, two people or having to choose between two people. I don't know. I feel like people is a is a factor here. So it's like there's multiple people involved. There's probably people um, interfering. It's almost like things are really good, but there's still doubts or insecurities that are popping up and causing someone to question the future. I don't know if this is you or your person. Now, they do have the Seven of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. So it's like, did I make the right choice? Is this the right path? And I feel like, I don't know. I feel like this connection is a very good connection. Um, yeah, the moon. I feel like it's your person that's unsure about something. Um, Pisces energy. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Page of Pentacles. There's the Seven of Wands. I don't know why your person is so uncertain or having so many doubts. If you know why this other person would be having these like misgivings, then let me know in the comments, I'm curious, because I feel like this is a situation, by the way, I don't know if this is someone you are already with or are going to be with. I don't think it really matters. I think this is just, the situation is just one where the problem is not the history you have, the problem is not whether they're old or an old partner or a new partner. The problem is an outside situation, a choice. It could even be a choice between the head and the heart, but really I'm thinking it's a choice regarding other people that's getting in the way of an otherwise beautiful connection. 
And it's like, it could be great. Ten of Pentacles is here, Ace of Pentacles is here. There's lots of potential here. But I also am picking up that it's almost like, can I, let me get one more with this King of Wands. Can I get one more for the, this King of Wands? One more for this King of Wands. It's almost like someone needs to just choose. Yeah, Eight of Swords, Two of Wands, and the Moon. It's. I mean, this is clearly someone that has no idea what they want or how to go about something. They're in the dark about what they should do, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Your person, which I feel is your person, is very is undecided or needs to choose, but but. But something is like eating away at them or something's causing doubts. Can we get some insight into this near future energy for Leo? Can I get some insight into this near future energy for Leo? In a few months, be patient. So something is taking its time to develop here. Now, I have the Queen of Swords, King, uh, Knight of Swords. Um, I feel like a conversation will be taking place soon or has taken place that you're happy to hear about. But at the same time, when I look at the near future energy, I don't really see action. I see potential for happiness. I see someone still debating. And I'm trying to figure out what's taking so long. <laughs> what's the issue, right? So I'm going to have to take this to the extended because I've tried clarifying a lot here and I'm just not getting down to the nitty gritty. And I feel it's probably because it's a very complex situation, but I'm just curious. So I want to um, take a, um, aside the Queen of Swords with the Knight of Swords and kind of look at what that information communication is about. And then I want to step a, set this energy aside for your person because I want to know what their intentions are. Because I feel like, I don't know, maybe you are wanting to know or deserve to know the, their answer and you just aren't getting it. Or, I don't know, maybe it's like, I feel like this decision should have already been made and it just hasn't. And I'm trying to figure out why. 